Well, this weekend you can drive on the new I-495 express lanes for the first time without paying a toll or owning an easy pass. But is this promotion savvy marketing or is it a sign that this billion dollar project isn't making as much money as this was anticipated? Our Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg joins us now with what he's found about this. Jeff? Well, Leon, the operators of the hot lanes have tried a whole host of things to try to increase ridership, public education programs, internet outreach, and also airing radio ads. Now they are offering free rides for the weekend, and some people we spoke with say they think it might just work. For every driver who uses the hot lanes, you'll find plenty more like Christine Weiss. I have not used them yet. But Weiss is just the person Transurban, operators of the hot lanes, is targeting this weekend. I'm going to try them. Someone willing to take some free time to give the hot lanes a chance for free. Use it is it. confusing, yeah. So on the weekend, I'd be more likely to try it anyway because I won't get in trouble. From midnight tonight until midnight Sunday, the 14-mile stretch of hot lanes on 495 in Virginia will be free to all. No easy pass required. It's a difficult thing for some people to get used to. Mike McGurk with Transurban says the freebie will allow drivers to get familiar with some of the turns and on-off ramps, especially drivers who have stayed away so far. Well, of course we want more travelers out there, but we obviously understand that these are early days and we're going to be out here for a long time. A report from February showed how Hot Lanes lost more than $11 million in its first six weeks, and a slow economic recovery could be a factor. They depend on congestion. They're a constituency for congestion, and, and that means economic activity, that means high employment. I think they're underutilized right now. That's my sense. They're kind of slow to do it, but I think once they use it and they see how fast and how efficient they are, I think they'll use it more. Operators of the hot lane say that we are still in that so-called ramp-up period for people to get used to the lanes. They say that could take anywhere from a few more months to a few more years. Next year, hot lanes will open up on a 29-mile stretch on 395 and I-95, and we will start hearing public promotion programs for that construction project coming up soon. Live in Vienna, Jeff Goldberg, ABC7 News.